Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this very short video. Hi, my name is Brian. Okay, we are very, very happy that we got a mail call the other day. And it was from Lead Farmer 73 And he sent me a beautiful Christmas card. I am so happy. And also in the box was some... Uh, Brussels sprouts. So Brian and I will grow those next year. Now I have to confess There were eight persimmons. I ate two of them <laughs> uh, If you all remember I only had uh, six of them to um, Six of them on my tree this year and I shared it with my grandchildren and Lea Thorman said don't worry about it Miss sure let them have them. I'll send you some and guys they are huge Very ripe Aren't they, Brian? Yes. So, and here are some, I'm sure these are the improved Meyer lemons, and they're so soft. Much bigger than our lemons, right, Brian? Yeah. They're much bigger than a red Yeah. So, what I'm going to do with the persimmons and two of the lemons is I'm going to make a sauce for ice cream that we will eat on Christmas. And... I'm going to add to the six persimmons and two lemons, a half a cup of monk fruit, which is a uh, natural zero calorie sweetener. And I'm going to blend this all up in my commercial blender and I'll show you. So I am cutting the tops off of the persimmons and and I also removed the seeds of the Meyer lemons and I uh, removed as much as the pup of, that I could and added it also to the blender. I also grated the peels of one lemon. Most people call that zesting. And I added it to the blender because I needed to have that uh, uh, more lemon flavor. And then I added the half a cup of monk fruit sweetener. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the puree into the saucepan. And then I'm going to cook it until it uh, coagulates and thicken up more by reducing the water. The water that's in the fruit and the lemon inside and the zest. Brian taste the top. How did it taste? Good. Very good. Very healthy. If you are uh, restricting your sugar, use the monk fruit uh, sweetener. It's all natural. And if you are not restricting your sugar, just put regular granulated sugar in there. Okay. I love sugar. Yeah, I know you do. Now I'm bringing it to a boil, and I'm telling you, I taste it a little bit, and I don't put my spoon back in the container when I'm tasting it. I use a separate spoon. I learned that in home economics <laughs> in the seventh grade and also from my mom and grandmother. But it's real thick, not like mashed potatoes or anything, but you can see it's not runny, but it's going to solidify and get a little bit thicker, and that... Uh, the peels from the lemon, the peeling, that's what gives it that extra little zip or zing. In a very short period of time, I want you to see how much that has thickened up. In a very short period of time, maybe less than five minutes, this is really thick. Really thick. So now, since it's not that much, I'm going to put it in one quart jar, and I'm not going to water bath can it. I'm going to refrigerate it. We can have it Christmas. So we got one nice jar, and we're going to have this on Christmas. I'll just refrigerate it since I don't have a lot. But once again, I want to thank Lead Farmer 73. You know what, guys? Since I'm going to make some lemon marmalade tomorrow, I'm going to water bath this to be on the safe side. When I can, the marmalade, I'll water back in this sauce as well. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye now. The end. <laughs>